you struggle, like we all do, with the things of this world, the things that we've got, the things that sometimes get in line ahead of God and our service to Him, maybe tonight you simply need to resolve to be better, better about serving Him. Maybe it's a sin in your life that you'd like to come forward and make known in a public way that you can be forgiven of that, that the church can pray with you and for you. Maybe it's just something else, the cares and concerns of this world that are weighing you down, that you'd like for us to encourage you with our prayers. The point is, is that we can resolve right now, whether it be the materialistic things of this world or whether it be something else in our lives, we can resolve in this moment to leave being faithful to God, being true in service to Him. If you're here tonight and you need to become a child of God or come back to Him, we'll be singing to encourage you as we stand together and as we sing. Charmed by the world's sea light. Things that are higher, things that are nobler, these have allured my sight. I will hasten to him, hasten so glad and free. sin and strife. He is the true one. He is the just one. He hath the words of life. I will hasten to him. Hasten so glad and free. paths of sin. Friends may oppose me, foes may beset me, still will I enter in. I will hasten to him, hasten so glad and free. Again, we're grateful that you're here this evening. We do have several announcements that we'd like to make you aware of, uh, both of our sick and, and other things that we have going on. So if you'll bear with me for just a moment, we'll try to, to work through these, but we want to make you aware, especially of some of our sick of, the, uh, sick of our number that we have. Uh, Steve Fugit had a scan today. I believe they'll know more uh, hopefully next week. We need to continue to pray for Steve. I think he's been a little weak lately and also for Debbie uh, as well as she cares for him and, and has her own health struggles. So we want to continue to pray for Steve and Debbie Fugit. Uh, I talked to Jessica or messaged with Jessica today and she said that Hudson uh, had successful surgery yesterday or as successful as they know at this time that they'll know in about six weeks if the surgery was truly successful. Uh, and she said that he did well with the surgery, though. We're thankful for that. Uh, by the afternoon, he was back up and bouncing around, and she was trying to keep him still, like the doctor said, and having a hard time with that. So uh, thankful for them and, and hope that uh, they'll know some good news in a few weeks. Uh, Betty Varner is going to have a biopsy on Friday at Memorial Downtown. So we've been praying for Betty and, and for Joe, but specifically Betty in this case, and the biopsy and the results that will come after that. So we want to continue to lift her up in prayer. Uh, Don Stennett was at the emergency room, I think over the weekend, uh, and having some heart trouble. Uh, been in lots of pain. They pretty much said there weren't, wasn't much they could do for her at this time, uh, but she will have a follow-up with her cardiologist in about two weeks. And I did message her today, and she said she's still, uh, even today, in lots of pain, and so uh, we want to continue to pray for her. Uh, Faith says that John has a kidney stone, at least as far as they know so far. He's been in pain for a few days. I uh, went to the doctor and got results of a scan that it does look like it's a kidney stone, so I want to pray that he has a, a good night and can work uh, through that with less pain. 
Uh, and then Travis said that he had had a, a conversation with Vicki Newberry uh, today, I think maybe, and that she had gotten a, a not good prognosis on some of her health issues. So uh, we'll try to find out more about that, but want to continue to pray for her. I know she's been waiting on some results and sounds like uh, got some discouraging news there. So uh, please continue to pray for, for Vicki Newberry. Uh, Bob pa passed me a note that uh, he did, uh, his sister did pass away, uh, Elizabeth Betty Day. Uh, passed away in the last couple of days, and her arrangements are at the Chattanooga Funeral Home on 153 in Hickson, Highway 153 in Hickson. Uh, visitation Friday night from 5 to 8, and a funeral service Saturday at 11. Again, that's Bob's sister Betty Day that passed away, and we want to extend our sympathy to him and his family. Was well, there anyone else as far as our sick goes that we need to make mention of? Yeah. He Heat's dad's dealing with some gout, all right. Absolutely. Anyone else need to make mention of? Debbie? Billy had her biopsy today, but won't know anything till the 10th. All right. Anyone else? Hate to make that list long, but we certainly want to take advantage of praying for everyone that we can. All right, as far as our other announcements, uh, some things that have been on our calendar and make mention of. Uh, there's a youth truth, a new youth truth on the bulletin board in the hallway uh, for our youth. Also, uh, most of the parents and young families are aware, but uh, the Browns had been wanting to host a get-together out at their house on the 13th, right, August the 13th, uh, and Julie mentioned that if anybody else would like to come to that, they'll open it up. You can see her. If you have any questions uh, or about that or what's taking place on, on that day, then you can see Julie, but uh, August the 13th at their house. Uh, we do plan to have game night here on Friday night at 6, if you'd like to come and be a part of that. And then on Saturday morning, we've been mentioning about the Greens Lake Road youth lectures. Um, I asked the youth today if anybody wanted to go and need a ride on the bus. Uh, but if you'd like to meet there, that's fine. If anybody, again, the lectures are kind of a camp reunion for us that go to Camp McCroy and a bit aimed at youth, but the lessons are truly for anyone. Breakfast starts at 845 and then the singing starts at 915. And so there are three lessons in between 915 and about 1230 and then uh, they will serve lunch. So if you'd like to be a part of that at the Greens Lake Road building on Saturday, uh, you certainly can do that. Uh, I did want to make one mention here and just say thank you to everyone that helped on Sunday. Thank you to anyone who was a helper or an actor or a teacher or a leader. Mike could just sum it up and say anyone who was sweating when they were here on Sunday. Uh, Hannah said she had seen several people sweating. They, she'd not seen sweat before, uh, but that uh, fellowship hall got hot. Uh, we do appreciate Gary and others who take care of our air conditioning. Jeff watches out for it, but they were able to get in here Monday and figure out what was wrong and get it fixed. We appreciate that, but um, we really appreciate your help if you are a part of uh, VBS making it successful. Um, and we may be talking more about it in the coming days, weeks, about uh, things that went well or didn't work, things we can do in the future, but uh, appreciate all your help. Uh, I got to take just a minute and say, I was, we don't have the projectors, of course, but Hannah's got a great picture of Tom Levi in his outfit with his notes in front of him studying up until the last second to make sure that he did his part right that you've just got to see but if you walk by the office tom was in the elder's office for several minutes studying and then he came in here and rather than standing up and doing the lord's army he was sitting down studying his notes so that he could act his part out she's got a great shot of that but we just had a great day and we appreciate so much your help and in, in all of the things that it takes to, to get that to happen so after our closing song, then Trey has our closing prayer, and we hope that we can see you on Sunday morning. Let's be standing, please. Sorry, one more thing. You can be standing. Uh, but Gary raised his hand at me back there. He told me something I forgot to write down. Carl and Midge had to leave, but Carl is missing a set of keys, a little key ring that's got about four keys on it. We've not had anything turned in or anything put in the office, but if you've seen those in the parking lot or see them in the parking lot or in the lobby or in the building as you're going around, Carl's missing a, a little keychain of about four keys on it. We'll try to get those back to him. 627, 627. We'll sing the first and last verses, then have our closing prayer. <clears throat> I'm in the way, the bright and shining way. I'm in the glory land way. Telling the world that Jesus saves today. Yes, I'm in the glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. Heaven is nearer and the way groweth clearer for I'm in the glory land way. 
Onward I go, rejoicing in his love. I'm in the glory land way. Soon I shall see him in that home above. Oh, I'm in the glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. Heaven is nearer and the way groweth clearer for I'm in the glory land way. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you so much for this opportunity to come together in the middle week to the come together for a Bible study and to hear another uh, story from your word and take encouragement from that. A lot of people have been mentioned that are sick or have ailments at this time and we, we would encourage others to pray and we pray for them this time and hope that they'll be restored to a reasonable amount of health, if that be your will. Especially, Lord, at this time I'd like to pray for uh, my grandfather and the loss of his sister. Just please be with our family as we go through uh, the process of of, uh, of dealing with that through uh, throughout the rest of the week. Um, for those of us who are teachers, we're about to start a new school year, Lord, and I would ask you to please bless all of our teachers and help us to have a, a year that's fruitful and help us to be a good example to all those that may not know you that are out there in this world, Lord. And just please go with us as we go throughout the rest of uh, our week. God guard us and protect us and bring us back home safe. Christ in my prayer, amen.